here we're back at it again with another episode of That's Where She Grows. I wasn't planning on filming again today, so you get it from my neck down. Small business owner, I'm proud. I'm getting this baby ready. I've had it for just over a month and it's been um, propagating or like rerooting in some perlite here. And I'm getting it ready for one of my friends who is absolutely in love with these. This is quite a, a decent size as well. She's absolutely gorgeous, the Anthurium clarinervium. Um, we had one casualty, this new leaf, it's not making it, but that's completely fine. And the roots on this are just amazing. They look absolutely spectacular. So I was going to unpot this and I decided, you know what, I wanna show you guys. Chonky roots, look at those. Those are so beefy. I have this in perlite. It's been in here for maybe a month, something like that, approximately. And those roots are just gorgeous. They remind me of a sunset. I have this rooting in perlite. I'm gonna be taking it out of the perlite and putting it in an aeroid mix. Look at these. Look how cute and fuzzy that is though. I'm loving it. This is one of the smaller clarinerviums that I received. She's gorgeous though. Just needed a little TLC. Some of the other ones. That one looks like it's getting like a bit of rust or something, but I already sprayed it. We have our Forgetti Eye Crystallinum. I feel like these roots are gonna be like something. I don't know, I've been on a root kick lately, so I'm gonna take this out of the perlite for the first time since I put it in there and it's not really coming, so let's try this. Those are some nice roots for sure. Oh my goodness. They're covered in perlite now. Ooh. I think they're kind of cute how like the new growth on the roots actually kind of got like a tinge of pink in some spots. I love it. I'll show you on the side here. Oh. See like the pink there? I love that. It's so tropical looking. So yeah, these roots are looking absolutely amazing now. I'm taking the perlite out. I'm still gonna stick it in a roughly like the same size container. I'm gonna just, instead I'm gonna replace the perlite with my Aeroid mix, which I use specifically Promix Orchid Bark. I really like that it has the charcoal in that, the activated charcoal. I'm gonna mix that with the regular Promix Tropical with the Microizae as that really promotes, um, the fungus promotes the root growth even more like exponentially. I got a lot of this growth um, just in perlite. Once it's actually in soil, it has the nutrients and the lights. This thing is going to explode. Like this, it already looks gorgeous. But next month is gonna be even bigger stunner. We can tell which side's gonna be the front, right? <laughs> That's obviously the front of the plan. I was gonna be to the back wall, I'm sure, because it's just so pretty. The heart-shaped leaves are just amazing. Okay, so that's it. That's what I wanted to show you guys. I'm sure you don't wanna watch me pot this back in here, pretty plain and simple. I'm just gonna put them in, put some soil around, tap, 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 water them in as usual, and then we're gonna be set. As a little surprise addition, I'm gonna show you another little fun thing. <laughs> So as you saw in my other previous video the other day, Monstera Elbows. So this is the one that I, like a cutting that I took off of the Monstera Elbow previously. And I've had it sitting rooting in sphagnum because the aerial roots on these things are no joke. That's just some diatomaceous earth. I dust all my plants in that. So there's the node. It has a lot of white variegation. Look at those roots. I'll try and get it without the shine. The roots on this. Let me try and turn off the light here so you can see it better. Those roots are insane. 
absolutely insane. So yeah, I just wanted to show that. I know this is like quite the contraption I have going on, right? The things we do for our plants. But I am going to be taking this and putting into some soil shortly and winding this around a little bit. That's fine. And then it's gonna be in a bigger pot and it'll root. So that's my little side project I'm working on. But anyways, thank you all for joining me again on another episode today of That's Where She Grows. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I filmed this today. I'm gonna to edit it for you and get that out just like the Monstera cutting. I actually recorded that yesterday and sent that out too. So enjoy. I love you all. Bye.